Bam. We're back. Rob. Rob. No, doctor, you wait, listen wait. to me, okay? Oh, no. I'm about to go live on a very popular Twitch show. So oh, no. unless you want to do the procedure tonight. I said, wait, hey, Rob. Yeah. Hey, we're live. Oh, we're live. Hey, man. What, what, what's, what's, going what's going on? I'll call you back, doctor. Uh, I was talking to uh, my dermatologist about <clears throat> a uh, nothing. It's nothing. No, everything's it, great. No, everything's sounded, great. Let's have a great. It, let's have a great show. Okay, no, Rob. It sounded like something you said. You were going to do the procedure. Now, why would you be calling a doctor, telling them that you're going to do the procedure? What do you want me to say, Paul? That I <laughs> that I abduct people for their organs? Is that what you? What do you want to hear? Uh, what? <laughs> That's no, crazy. I don't want, I don't want you to say you're you, to, you right now you you sound crazy. You what? are acting crazy and we're 5 okay. seconds into the show and you're First already of all, acting I didn't crazy. say I didn't say a, a gosh darn word and I'm not going to curse anymore on this channel because you know I've found Christ. And so I I'm just kind of you know, freaked out by this kind of entryway into the show. I just, I feel like you're, if you're suggesting that the real way I make money is yeah. abducting people and harvesting their organs, uh, again, I would tell you you're way off base and you're barking up the wrong tree. Okay. I never said that you said that. And that makes me think that you are abducting people and harvesting their organs. Cause that's not a, that wouldn't be the first thing that came to my mind. I mean, it sounded like you were threatening someone. I don't understand why you'd have to be. I mean, if it wasn't a face, why don't, I don't understand why I have to have the hoodie on. Why don't we just have a fun comedy show? Okay. Can it ever just be that? Can people ever just I, I, turn on the computer at five o'clock Pacific, eight o'clock yeah. Eastern, put it on Twitch slash friend zone, whatever the website well, it, is. It, it, and well, then it, they it, have a great time hanging out with their friends, Paul and Rob, or, well, I mean, or, yeah. or, the alternative is you ruin everything for everybody and everybody that, that, turns, okay, that's, everybody that's turns on you because that's where Wait, this well, is going. You know, you can turn because you know, this is, let me tell you something, Paul, the people that we're dealing with, the people yeah. that watch our show yeah. are desperate. They are begging us for comedy. Mm, they, okay. Right. And I want to okay. make sure that we do a show. I don't they open are it up sad. I, what? People no. who have failed. Oh, at what? life, no, and have turned to the internet are you, for masturbation, but they no, got that high is... on weed and they forgot about masturbation and they what? found their way to our show. That's who we're dealing with. Okay, so first if you want to disappoint, like... if that's who you want to disappoint, great. Oh, okay, then. Let's, let's have a great show. show. Let's yeah, have a great show. show. Okay, like, let's have, you know, Rob, uh, I'm excited to be here with you tonight because me too. I am. We excited. have we have some great guests. We have some really great guests. We have Whitmer Thomas, <sighs> Whitmer uh, we Thomas, have Alan McLeod, uh, yeah. two great people. Uh, and and the guy we also have. Uh, and this took. I mean, this is a whole other topic, but um, I feel like every now and then you should thank me for the work that I do to book some of these guests because okay, when, sure. when a news story breaks, yeah, as you know, um, I'm usually the one to go after the people in the headlines. So I yeah, you used to be a night crawler, right? Yes. I was a night crawler along with Jake Gyllenhaal. Yeah. Um, and I booked the guy who crashed facebook slash instagram what? earlier this week yeah he's oh coming on this God. show so we got that guy this is yeah. amazing oh it's wait, gonna this... be a big show Holy it's gonna shit. be a big all right show. so i know that they've been trying to figure out exactly who did it this is yeah I all right so we them. have the guy and i know that we also are gonna get some reading of um yeah this is a new a new idea that i think is gonna okay. be great it could also be a little too sexy Okay. We might have to give it to, uh, what's the girl's name who does all the microphone licking? I can never say oh, her name. Oh, uh, Amaranth. Amaranth. This who might be better, right for, better for her. Um, but we are going to read, uh, people have sent me erotic fan fiction for the okay. TV show Squid Game. Okay. So I have a lot of uh, 
you know, erotic stories dealing with Squid Game, and I can read those wow. um, at any at any time. I got a whole slew of them right here. So, well, Rob, just so you know, uh, because we have been checking in with Amaranth almost weekly now, and yeah, and right now she has been going live for eight hours and twenty minutes. Uh, and are, are and, we yeah. catching up to her in viewership? Uh, have we stolen? No, and we, we no, have, we have. No, that is the no. weird thing. We have not caught up we're getting close um we just got to those stands for us to lick um but she is but because i have started to follow her now i'm getting a lot of uh <laughs> a lot of recommended channels that i don't feel like are totally uh right i don't know if they're totally right well should me. we check in on some of those channels or do you want to I mean, check in on amaranth i well, you know maybe put amaranth to the side for a second let people are here for us and okay. you know, and see what's going on. We have some new should, people should, here. If from, there yeah. are new people, yeah. If there are new people who don't know who we're talking about, should we show them Amaranth I just mean, for five seconds? Okay, just so people can get caught up because there's so a lot of history. Know one, one of the things about this show is who our main the rich history. Is, yeah. yeah, we have a rich history here on the, the show. Lore. Which is, there's a lot of lore to yes. this show. Yeah. Um, I'm just going to make sure that everything is going to make sense here. So Amaranth is a, you know, obviously we're on Twitch. We love Twitch. We have uh, a healthy community here, amazing community on our Discord, and we love to check in on the other channels. And Amaranth is somebody who has been showing us the ropes uh, in many ways. And um, here we go. Uh, this is what she has been up to. Here we go. Uh, bam. Hmm. She's got some good lighting going on right there. And um, today she is, um, she is going to be giving... Uh, for every new sub, 30 seconds of ear licking, and that is done. So that would just ended right there. Um, you know, and people are noticing, yes, she does have the same lighting as me, and that's, you know, no coincidence. Uh, this but are you guys, but are you in the same space as Amaranth? Do you go to like a broadcast studio? Because I've been very upfront about, I'm in my garage. Yeah. yeah, uh, yeah. You know, I bought this siding at Home Depot. Uh, but you I've never been quite clear in yeah. where you do the show from because you're so well lit. The camera is crystal clear. Yeah. It's like, well, um, for my studio, at least. yeah. Uh, my studio sheer genius, uh, has made a deal with IATSE. I don't know if you're following anything that's going on in the, um, sure. I didn't, I the, didn't even know you had a studio called sheer genius. Yes. This is all sets and props uh, behind me. It looks to look like, uh, maybe a bedroom in a house, but this is all, uh, actually designed by, uh, some of the great people behind the, I don't know if you've seen it, a uh, show called Stranger Things. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah, a yeah. great. Yeah, so they course. did that. They did my background. And uh, yeah, it's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. I don't want to get into it. But Rob, you know, uh, what people may not know is, yes, they're here for us tonight. But we are simultaneously airing live. Don't ask us how right now on the tiny kitchen cooking challenge, which was pretty amazing rob we got to make tiny food we did it yeah. together we yeah. battled each other in the tiny kitchen now we're not allowed to legally they've threatened us with their lawyers we can't yeah. say who for people that aren't familiar tiny kitchen you go on and you make a teeny weeny little tiny dish and they give you all the ingredients and they show you like a 10 second video and they're like go yeah, and you then have you a, just you, that's to all it. you have to do. And Rob and yeah. I, obviously, we are big, tiny food fans. Uh, and actually, I was wrong. I was wrong, Rob. Uh, tonight at eight thirty, it goes live. Yeah. Well, also, tonight. I think you're even more wrong. I think that mm -hmm. the the season premieres tonight. I think you and I aren't on until November the eleventh. Um, what? I think that's oh, correct, I, unless I misread the email. Um, then you know what. But, but re is... regardless, we should hype it up because anytime you and I appear on a show, we need to hype it. We got to also... hype this thing. So this and is also actually really the good. prize money, the prize money. One of us won six hundred yes. million dollars on. Tiny but they're Kitchen. tiny dollars. Yeah, they're tiny. tiny dollars. So let's take a look at uh, I'll show you a little bit of this. I'm so now I'm really laughing because I just plug the hell out of this tiny well, that's kitchen okay today. that's okay well, well, yeah well, all right let's see all right i'm gonna stop my screen here. i'm gonna add a news <laughs> i was confused everyone's asking me to tweet and do the things and i forget I what know, day it is i know all right here we go this is this um all right 
I'll take it down. No one will remember. All right, here we are. Uh, Rob and I on something called uh, Tiny Kitchen Challenge. This week on Tiny Kitchen Cook-Off, we're creating a baked good that'll give us a small slice of happiness. I'm ready to do it. Do you know who you're dealing with? I like to also look big. Should this be on fire? There is no cash prize. What? Thursdays on. <laughs> there it is. Uh, we did it. We did it. Uh, we really, we really did it. I now listen. You should fact check me because I think uh, whatever. Who cares? It doesn't matter. Uh, I think. I, mean, I think it's on. I think our episode airs in a few weeks. Well, there we go. I mean, Molly will know. Uh, because it was a lot of flurry of emails today. So I didn't know yeah, what yeah, to do. Yeah, I just put yeah. it all up. Now, let me uh, ask right you a now. question, yeah. Paul. If, if what, what groups, how hard is it to get on your social media? That's my, if I emailed you from a fake Gmail account, if mm -hmm. I said, you know, like, uh, uh, you know, genital warts, uh, of America. Hey, Paul, right. yeah. What's up? I'm, I'm Steve from genital warts of America. Listen, man, we really need your help promoting this cause. We want to, we want everybody to get genital warts. So then sure. it's not even a thing. You know, if everyone has it, it Got won't it. be a thing. Would you post that? Like, how hard is it to get you, you want to wanna like, something? you want me to like literally get on social media and, and like, like advertise for genital warts? Um, no, you don't have to shoot anything with your face on it. I just want to like, if I sent you some, you know, social media assets, as they say, okay. and it, and it seemed, um, it seemed legit. I'm just trying to figure out how, how hard do you screen? And I'm not making fun of people right. with genital warts, you know, but I'm just using that as a placeholder. Okay. Uh, if, if, um, uh, how hard do you screen the organizations that come at you to post things? You know, uh, the only thing that I screen is do those checks cash. That's oh, about it. Oh, yeah, I didn't know that. Okay, yeah. so you, in order to post something in your Instagram or anything like that, you need to be paid. You wouldn't just well, do it because, like, hey, you know, this kid needs a, you know, a new bike. No, or something no, like yeah. That. Like I, like to me, it's it's all about. I I do a very thorough check. I go, uh, is is that money gonna buy stuff? And if it mm -hmm. does, I'm done. And I, and I've gotten into some horrible. Uh, you know, things with that, obviously I've gotten behind some very terrible organizations, but yeah. you know, I'll, you know, it <sighs> gotta yeah. get that green, gotta yeah, get that yeah, green. Yeah, That's yeah. not, you know, I mean, you know, uh, you cause know, you, and, cause you, you were like, I remember you caught a lot of heat because you, you were supporting that organization mm -hmm. that was going around and euthanizing people's, uh, pets that weren't even yeah. sick. They would just, yeah, the whole idea. Oh, this is actually a great organization. They would, yeah. They, they would go would, into people's houses and they would just put down your dog or your cat for like yeah, for free. no reason for, for, but for free for free. Yeah. I, obviously it's free, but it was just like weird veterinarians that kind of liked the power of putting animals down and you supported that. And right, I never understood right. why, uh, yeah. Why you got behind that? Well, okay. Um, because first of all, you know, I'm a big, fan of science, modern medicine, Dr. Fauci, yeah. you know, yeah. all that kind of stuff. Fauci, and, yeah. you know, I, and I just wanted to make sure that people felt like if, you know, I, that I'm a supporter of medicine, you can come, they'll let these doctors come to your house and, and show you how good they are. Yeah. And what was the yeah. thing that you also, I remember last spring, you were very outspoken about something tots about for toys. Yeah. What was that? It was like tots, tots for toys was if you bring me a child, I'll give you a toy. <sighs> Okay. So, uh, how would, how would that even work? People would bring you their child or a different child to make a difference. doesn't matter. And you would just give them a toy. No questions asked. Meet them down by the docks, uh, the beautiful uh -huh. long beach docks. And we have a, uh, a, a big freight container. <coughs> and what I'd say is I'm going to get there around 8 AM, bring a, a tot. I'll give you a toy and okay. until we, and, we'll, and I'll be there until the, uh, the shipping container fills. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I mean, and that was a great one. That was a really fun one. Um, and you know, and then, uh, someone in the chat, uh, mediocre, uh, mediocre yogurt, uh, 
did bring up i did do that the year before with uh tater tots for sex toys you I bring me a sex toy i'll that. give you a tater tot uh depending that. on uh yeah. how yeah and that was the other you know that was a different thing that was fun too, too. yeah but then you, you were behind that other group that was mm-hmm. calling dolphins the rapists of the sea mm-hmm. and uh True. i mean i have i've heard something about that a rumor that dolphins do uh, they can we get rest, very, yeah. very horny in a group or something like that. I, I don't know what it is behind bars. So, you, but, uh, but I'm just curious what, what is the yeah. actual logic of the organization? You can't arrest every dolphin. It's impossible. Well, just I mean, I'll many. show you, I'll show you a little bit of, uh, actually I'll show you, um, this is, uh, this is actually, I'm, I'm so glad that we have talked about this because it's something that is near and dear to my heart. Um, what we were able to do uh with this organization was uh get these horrible beasts uh behind bars so well they're see. they're dolphins i mean so yeah this is um you'll see right here uh so that was one of the uh one of the beasts that we had gotten uh we totally had uh so they j they took this poor dolphin mm-hmm. out of the ocean and they put him in a I'm assuming he's underwater. He's not hanging in midair. Underwater. Yeah, and we have a precog system with dolphins, so uh, we don't. I don't know. Them. I don't know what that is. You mentioned that pre-cog, very like, casually. Uh, yeah, like a minority report. So we don't wait for the crime to happen. We would do it uh, ahead of time. I'm sorry. Yeah. Uh, so I mean, we we got uh, we got. I mean, we on the in the world that we said we got a uh, we said we got a uh, fifteen thousand dolphins out of the sea, you know, uh, before something happened. Uh, okay. And so, yeah. so before there were any actual dolphin rapes or sexual assaults, we you went sex. around and you arrested fifteen thousand dolphins from around the world. From around the world, we had some great people okay. in uh, Colombia, Australia, New Zealand. Oh, oh uh, none of those are accurate accents. I'm not. Uh, actually, matter of fact, uh, you, I'm just n- maybe even there's, there could be something wrong with my earbud. But Nevada. I don't, no, no, this isn't how you pronounce Nevada. And Nevada. also, can I hear your Australian accent one more time? That was way off. Oh, put put a uh, put a dolphin on Bobby. All right, oh, mate. No, 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 no. I don't like that. I mean, Brissy oh. Joe would know he's our Australian uh, counterpart. Uh, Rob, I you know I know you're you're throwing a lot of shade at me here tonight, and I and I think it's because we caught you in a in a big giant lie. Um. Oh boy. Here yeah, this is uh this is something that last week on the show we talked about and at length about the Law and Order show that you said you didn't do. I did right. not do it. No. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah right. we you showed the this? clip. Okay, I was Here's offered the, the part. Gentlemen, yes. yeah, you were offered the part. <laughs> um <Yes>. but <laughs> what happened was and this is actually really uh this is uh this this is um really I forgot, what's kind of, I forgot that we talked about that. Yeah, but uh we actually did some decoding of the scene. Hey, we found, yeah, we found wait that, that a was yeah. second now. Yep. That does look like me. Yeah, so we actually were able to we ah. actually ran it through uh, a facial composite and we were able to figure out that that is definitely you. You that were looks a lot like me. I now I'm wondering if I so we just ran that through a, a facial composite. There it is. Yeah. If people if people didn't watch the show last week, you don't even know what we're talking about. This was a show called uh, SVU that I was Law and Order is, SVU uh, Law and Order SVU, where I was offered a part that I didn't do because he was a rapist, and I don't want to play a rapist. Thank I think you would have been a great. I think you would have been a great dolphin, Paul. Not all. Let me think about this. What do you mean? Uh, yeah, you I mean? think I'm right. Not all dolphins are rapists. Uh, okay, let's yeah, let, let's not right. make tonight's that's show right. political. Let's let's just enjoy I, it again. I, hey, man, I'm not trying to be political. I'm okay, just well, trying to be scientific, and I believe that's right. Not all dolphins are rapists. Well, uh, we should tomato. Google that. Okay, but now now, Rob, the other thing that we caught you in was Jeez, you what is this like a gotcha? The whole show is going to be gotcha all night long. Well, we, yeah, we, uh, you told a really fun, funny story uh, on this it? show uh, about, uh, about, <laughs> so a couple of weeks ago, you told a very funny story that Marshawn Lynch, a uh, professional football player, yes. uh, mistakenly ID'd you as 
yeah. Leslie Nielsen. Well, after uh, this- two days of working together, he told me he was so excited to work with me and that he loved all my movies, especially the naked gun. At which point I said, do you think I'm Leslie Nielsen? And he said, are you not Leslie Nielsen? And I said, no, Leslie Nielsen has been dead for 10 years. And he mimed uh, his brain exploding. Right. That way. And and I mean, I love that story. And I was on Mm. your side until uh, somebody in the discord. uh, No, this. No, uh, take take a watcher. I'm Lieutenant Frank Drebin, police squad. <laughs> what? <laughs> so, uh, maybe you have some explaining to do. I mean, it uh, when we this, put the clip together like this. I'm starting to... I did not know. I have not seen any of the material that you were showing me at this moment. Yeah. And so um, I am confused, and uh, that it, that does look a lot like me. Now, yeah, I don't understand um, technology and right. like deep fakes and and editing tricks and and uh, you know stuff like that. Face app is that that says made with reface app, Paul. I don't so, know if that's totally true. Okay, well. Anyway, this is the kind if they took that watermark off there that said made with reface app, I would probably be in jail for lying. Okay, well, I mean, I just think that, you know, maybe that's what Marshawn saw. He watched Naked Gun like that. With th- by using the reface app, is that an option? I'm sure it could be. <laughs> you've seen the real you've seen the real Tom Cruise. By the way, I've Now let me with, l- yeah. let me ask you a question. If what if you took security cam footage of a murder scene Mm -hmm. or a car accident and you refaced someone and you took off that watermark where would we be could you say hey look i have video evidence of this well i mean rob i mean at this point i think we need to you know i think we just need to put the trial to you know let's put somebody on trial we'll see see. what we'll see what happens yeah let's see what they could do um i was gonna show you yeah yeah well i I, I, want to no, I, w- I want to look at that thing, and then I just want to let you know that the I just um, heard that the guy who crashed Facebook is oh is he's here, here and he's and he's ready. Well, but I want to I want to see the next thing you have. Well, no, I, no, I think I think it's I think let's get back to this. Could be a runner throughout the show. We will figure it out right now. Okay, but but I think, I, but, you know, but, but yeah. are there many more gotchas? Because the gotcha. Um, you know, yeah, you're I, upset I, about I, the I gotcha. You, I don't, you, need, you I don't like... need to. Do I need to call my lawyer? I mean, I, have I, mean a... I wouldn't call your lawyer, but I, I mean, look, okay. I, look, I, I think that there, the evidence is overwhelming that you were the star of the naked gun. <sighs> I mean, I'm flattered. I, I love the movie and I love Leslie Nielsen and I grew up such a big fan, but you I are know Leslie for, Nielsen. I know in, in my you heart, faked of heart your own death and you came back as an improv performer a comedian actor because you felt like you were pigeonholed into roles and admit it rob you are leslie nielsen you faked your death and you wanted to get more legit roles like transparent you wanted to get out there you wanted to show people what you were you weren't just a guy who had the fart machine on uh talk shows he did famously have the fart machine on talk shows if you took away sleep from me for about a week if you kept me up for a week and took away food from me and you said Mm -hmm. that over and over and over eventually i would start crying and i would say okay yes i am i'm leslie nielsen like you could you could easily convince me of that i i mean look i i I, like i would love to get you in there right now and please don't take away my sleep please don't take away my sleep okay well rob you you know before bringing our facebook guy let me just bring on one more i'll bring on one more piece of information because i think this is actually really good i'm gonna call my entertainment lawyer uh, paul i'll call my entertainment about you this is not about you but you were asking about like how good can deep fake technology get i just want to show you my uh hand strength whoa Yikes, that is that is pretty impressive. So think about um, that. Factor that into whatever you're about to show me. All right. Well, this is this is more about just like how good can uh real technology get? And I wanted to show you this. I don't know if you you know about this. Um, it's gonna be a little bit small, but I think we can make it work. Uh there you go. Okay. Uh check this out, and then we'll get to our guest who is uh I mean, I shouldn't even be here. We go. Uh check this out right here. Okay. Rose engine machine. It's a rose engine. 
Yeah. But this is not a Rose lathe. Uh, Rose engine lathe, okay. I guess, is like a full name for it. A lathe is any machine that does circular uh, material Got removal. Got it. So now that is not Tom like. Cruise. Um, that was too small for me. Oh, okay. To, to see, this I mean, like, I, 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 it, t that was small on my screen. Maybe people okay. watching this full screen. Uh, I'll get it. Well, Molly can pull some up there too. If it looked does. a lot like Tom Cruise. Is that what it is? Well, we're gonna we're gonna show it to you. We're gonna show it to you and pull it in. But okay. let's Rob. Let's bring in your guest. Uh, hmm. let's let's uh, people. Well, let me let me set him, let me set him up a little bit because yeah. the, the the you know I think we're making some news here. I think that we are hopefully going to finally get on the map with the show and I'm maybe so we excited could about this you know maybe we can get some real numbers here bigger than amaranth's but um and again so, you know, is going on for eight hours so you know we will do yeah. an eight hour show eventually i mean we'll get there yeah i mean right now you know we're both very busy and we have kids yeah. so we we do this show once a week for a couple hours but yeah if we wanted to go to eight hours every day we could always do that 100%. um so earlier this week, as you know, if you tried to get on to Instagram or Facebook or WhatsApp, you noticed that it was all down. I mean, it was lights out. I think that was today's Thursday. So that might have been like Tuesday. So I was curious, like, you know, what happened? Like someone, someone screwed up big time. And so um, I did some research, found out what the problem was, found out that it was one single guy whoa uh who whose name is jim bernetto and i called jim bernetto and i said you know do you want to come on the show and he said fuck you i'll never come on your show whoa. and i said what if paul Shear wrote you a check for twenty five thousand dollars now i have a lot of that from the genital wart company okay so anyway Which, we do again, need to work that sure out giving you genital warts without having to have the sex and that's the that's the company okay regardless we need to somehow work out a money exchange to okay. jim bernetto because he is here and he wants to explain what happened what the confusion was what the issue was and he might have some other stuff to talk about i'm not sure he's a very colorful all right let's character. bring him on this is great okay. all right hey jim what's how are you up? what's up <laughs> what's that what's like up? That? that's great that's great that's yeah. great well that's funny yeah, yeah. Oh, be, oh, 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 oh now i get it now I what's get it. up yeah yeah oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, what's up what's up okay. yeah the, yeah oh oh oh, oh, oh. what's up what's up oh, yeah. Oh. Yeah, yeah wait yeah. wait 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 i'm not sure i am getting it wait no because what's, what's, what's app what's app like, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> what's that? Yes. What's that? Yes. Oh, I like the yes, commercial. Yes. yes. <laughs> Jim, right, how, are you, yeah. how, how hey. are you doing? Thanks for being here. Yeah. And hey, um, thanks for having me. I just got to say sorry to everybody. I mean, yeah. What do you, what, what do you go ahead? You just, yeah. you, you uh, do your thing. <laughs> Tell us what, what happened uh, and yeah. apologize and anything, anything. Well, you don't make him say. apologize yeah. if he doesn't want well, to apologize. You know, it's, it was, it was, it was certainly human error, you know? So on one hand, it's like, I don't want to beat myself up for it, but you know, I did, it did affect people's lives. And, uh, mm. for that, I'm sorry for their, for the businesses, you know, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. People, well, couldn't, yeah. people can post, mm -hmm. you know, uh, yeah pictures yeah, yeah. uh you know, naughty pictures and whatnot, you know, I'm sorry about that. Well, and, um, I don't you know, know about, it. I mean, it, it, like, I mean, it seems like, I'm going well, to say, Robert, like a on little What's bit, a little, post, I mean, well, that's not posting, it's ascending. I mean, but I guess like Rob, I, 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 I kind of, uh, I'm on Jim's side. It's like, it was just social media for a couple hours. Like, why are people but what really was the, I, I don't even understand. Let's back up a second. Okay. What was the actual issue, Jim, that you caused this outage? Right, right. Well, so, you know, there's, there's a lot of speculation going on. First of That's all, what, you, know, yeah. you know about that. There's a lot of speculation. There's a lot of conspiracy theories rolling around about uh, what happened, and uh, so yeah. So I, I, I'm just here to to clear the air, and you're okay. not you're not gonna believe. It. I mean, it's very. I, I'm a little embarrassed, but I feel like I should admit this. Normally, I wouldn't. Yeah, wouldn't talk about it, but uh, you know. Anyway, so I'm I work down here in this bunker. Okay, I'm I'm working yeah. this bunker. I uh, I'm I'm in charge of. Uh, 
Facebook's uh, fail-safe key here. You can see okay. behind me. Oh, yeah. oh wow. And, uh, you know, and so I, I'm down here by myself. I don't have a lot of help. And, uh, you know, and I got to be here to turn this key to keep Facebook running. Oh, like you work for turn. Facebook. Gotcha. Yeah, gotcha. I work Wait, for is Facebook. that, that kind of like, I mean, kind of like Lost? Like on the on the island in Lost, there was like a, a clock and a key. Yeah. Or something yeah. Like that? yeah. Basically. Well, you know, Facebook started in 2004 and uh, so did okay. uh, so did Lost. So, mm. Oh, wow. Uh, yeah. This oh. is the whole Desmond character is based on me. You know, oh my god, oh, yeah, I didn't know yeah, it's that. Kind of exciting. That's my claim to fame. <laughs> oh, wow, okay, yeah. okay, yeah. yeah. So, what, yeah. what has to happen with that key? Um, uh, because I don't remember, I didn't get that far into Lost, but I'm sure mm -hmm, mm -hmm. not everyone else did either. Yeah, but, I like, what season that was, but yeah. so what were or what do you have to do with that key? And, and, and was it you just have to turn it every so often or? Well, yeah, basically every 108 seconds I have oh, to Oh yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Turn this key behind me. Wait. Whoa. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. oh. Hang on. Sorry. Oh. One sec. Oh, this is uh. 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 Oh. Uh. Okay, I got it. Wow. Woo. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> that is awesome. Yeah. So yeah, you just gotta, prevented mm -hmm. a, a worldwide outage uh, of Facebook, Instagram, and WhatsApp just yes. by doing that. Okay. Yep. Yep. I yep, see. I see. Yeah. So, and, so mm -hmm. basically, I mean, I, this, I hate to point fingers here, but that seems really easy. What could have kept you from doing that a couple days ago? I was taking a big shit. I was taking a big oh. old shit and oh, that was it. That was, that was it. Well, I also, I fell asleep on the toilet. That was the double mistake. Oh that I, that yeah. I Cause made. I would imagine you have to, how many times you have to do yeah. that in a day? I'm sorry if I missed this, but how many times in a day do you do that? Uh, well, it's every 108 seconds. Got and it. so it's, um, I think it calculates to, uh, 877 times a day. Oh my gosh. Wow. Um, Jesus. Yeah. That's a yeah. lot. But yeah. also, I mean, you, yeah. you know, every, everybody, you know, there's a book even called everybody poops, you know, and, and <laughs> oh, I, yeah. I don't, I don't, I've, it's I've a great book. It. Yeah. I've, I've okay, but book. This has nothing to do with, this has, I mean, I, I'm less concerned about the pooping uh, because I'm just kind well, of Paul. Curious. I mean, the, yeah. Paul, the fact is, but everybody is, does it. Exactly. Thank you, Jim. Everybody. Right. But I mean, you're sitting there, Paul, as if maybe you don't poop. And, no, no, I, mm -hmm. I, I'm not, I'm not saying I don't poop. I don't want to get into that. Well, you kind of haven't thing. said that you do. Oh, this you is going to be one of do. those things that you clip and then you make it a meme. I don't want to go viral again because last week I, I said, uh, put your finger up my butt. And I did, that was a trick. You tricked me into that. And then that went viral and everyone is playing <laughs> that clip. I'm not going to say that, I, you know, I, I poop. So you I'm, don't poop? I'm, I'm not, I just, I do, do you poop. or do you not? You do. Okay, great. All right. Well, I, so I was, in the middle of pooping okay yeah it was, okay it was a big one it was a big one and then i uh was on i was there for a while and i, I well hang on oh geez uh oh wow. uh oh uh oh uh oh turn it hurry jim turn it all the way uh, gosh and that's turn it, it. All the way. let's see like, this, look oh yeah my right. facebook is this well, my yeah. facebook is refreshed yeah, yeah you'll sometimes you'll see it flicker a little bit yeah, um, yeah. I, I was, I, I was, I was posting some pictures of my cats the other day mm -hmm. on Facebook. And uh, Rob, how many cats do you have? Right now, we got about 170. Um, but mm. some of them uh, aren't that cute, so I don't post pictures right. of all of them. Anyway, I don't want to get off point, but I, I, I wasn't able to post pictures of the cats during the outage. So I was, you know, my wife was crying, my daughter was crying. Uh, some of the cats were crying. Well, uh, no, but there's a, some good questions coming up here in the in the chat um, too. Uh, what if you overturn the key? Is that mm, going to cause a problem? Uh, uh, I've got it down. You'll see. I never. I uh, I turn it the exact same amount of times in the exact okay, got same it. way. You know, each time. So you know, you'll notice that. Yeah, I've got it down. Yeah, that's not a. If I were to overturn it, MySpace turns on turns back oh my, oh my gosh yeah 
Don't do that. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Well, all right. So this is a crazy job. I just, I mean, mm -hmm. I guess I'm kind of curious, like, how did you even get this job? I mean, oh, that's seemed, a great question. Is it that's a good a job? I, like, yeah. How, how, what's yeah. the organization like? Is Facebook really as bad as that lady said on 60 Minutes? Uh, well, you know, I don't, I don't work at, at Facebook proper other than, you know, I, my other job is I sort of juice the news on Facebook, you know, your news feed. I might juice oh, it. If yeah. there's something bad going on about Facebook, then I got to kind of, I got to kind of juice some other news so that your feed has oh. other stuff going on. But, uh, so like you just keep, you keep track. So basically people on Facebook will get like other other fun stories or something like that. Like, yeah, you know. I put like some oil spill news out, uh, you know, after, um, the, uh, the yeah. Last oh, geez. Oh God. Jeez. Oh, this Here fucking go. thing that alarm yeah, I tell is you, so, so loud. It's like, I'm, I can't even take a poop around here. Oh. I mean, yeah. I mean, are you even eating healthily? I yeah. mean, I don't even understand. Well, I could have a whole meal. Healthily is, you know, that's, that's, I don't even yeah. get me started on that. I mean, I get what I can get down here, but, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, but yeah, so anyway, I fell asleep and then it's like, okay, so I'm, so then I wake up and I'm getting all these texts, you, uh, know, you must've gotten a like, lot of texts. Oh yeah, I'm blown yeah. up. You know, I was like, I was like, is it my birthday? <laughs> you know, and, uh, it, it turns out it was my birthday, but that's not why oh. people were texting me. People don't text me for that stuff. Uh, sadly, oh. but, uh, yeah. I mean, I yeah. imagine people don't see you much because you're kind yeah. of just trapped in this. Yeah. Yeah. They yeah. kind of forgot about me and I don't have friends, but the, so, but anyway, I fell asleep and I wake up all these times. I'm like, Oh my gosh, what the heck? So, uh, I try to get up, but you know how, like, if you've been sitting on the, on the toilet for too long, your legs yeah. fall asleep. Yeah. You get yes. that kind of yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. So yeah. I got up and I immediately, I just, I couldn't feel my legs at all. And I just collapsed. No, oh, yeah. no. Are yeah. you serious? Oh yeah. Yeah. Just so couldn't... now you're on the floor and you probably got poop on your butt. <laughs> oh yeah. Well, I still right, hadn't I hadn't wiped. <laughs> I oh, hadn't wiped. No. Yeah. Ah, oh, it was gross. stinky too. It was stinky. Okay, oh, this is gross. disgusting. Okay. But uh do, do you have special food? Do you, I mean because I guess I don't even know what you could be eating. I mean, are people coming down there? How are you getting your supplies? I mean, you said it's in a uh it, you, it, said it, a you said it's in a bunker. Yeah. Yes, I'm in a bunker. Uh, I'm in a bunker. I go through a hatch just like Desmond, you know. The whole thing. So, wow. So, you, do you think, in a way, that the, the, like, the popularity of Lost kind of inspired this Mark Zuckerberg to kind of create this kind of thing? Or do you think I mean, it was it's, just. Uh, it's, it's kind of a chicken or the egg deal, you know. I, I right. think that I, I like to think that I inspired that, uh, you know, the whole sort of twist of. Uh, that whole story element of lost you know oh so like da like damon lindelof saw heard about you and then mm -hmm. wow okay wow okay that that's something yeah different, right? gotcha, yeah gotcha, yeah gotcha. so um, i mean oh yeah go ahead well I, I i just um man i'm trying to figure out how to say this without sounding like a real jerk but um the uniform that you're wearing oh, oh, go, oh, ahead, go ahead sorry no go oh, ahead deal sorry. With you, you know what that. this is actually uh uh my my dinner i just uh oh pop, oh my pop, oh. My, my pop has tarts the same... ready yeah my pop tarts ready <laughs> oh okay all right all right wow yeah but if he eats that you're gonna have to poop that uh, well probably point, the man but... has to eat something yeah but i'm just saying what what if he has to poop while we're on the air oh and... don't even oh no don't even <laughs> uh oh okay oh boy well um, don't even well, put it in my head <laughs> okay all right just to go back to go back for a second and um man I, I don't know how to say this but uh i am curious about your attire um okay. the the clothing that you're wearing is that by choice mm -hmm. or is that like a military style uh it seems a little sort of uh i don't want to use the word nazi i don't want oh, to okay. use that word huh um, but the, just the way it's like buttoned all the way to the top. Right. Right. Um, it, uh, it, it, yeah, yeah, it's I'm kind of a, it's kind of a, you know, a, a uniform uh, that I, uh, that I they, have they, to wear. They make you wear it. That's interesting. Yeah. Um, and, uh, yeah, I mean, you know, I guess, <laughs> I mean, if you can say anything about the Nazis, those uniforms were really, uh, they're famously oh, no. nice mm, uniforms. No, so, I, 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 I don't know. They, they were designed it. by a top designer, I think. Yeah, well, do I, I, I don't think we should even congratulate them on anything. Oh, uh, sure. I mean, 
they didn't make the uniform. I'm just saying, you know, that that's, they wore it well. Yeah. Okay. Okay. But anyway, you, but they make you mm-hmm. wear that uniform. So that is right. not a fashion choice. Okay. Good. Yeah. I think it's just to dehumanize me and you know, make me feel um, less than so that I don't yeah. ever try to leave and, you know. Right. Okay. Yeah. That's the thing. Like, a, kind of, like an abuser kind of would do that mm-hmm. to you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That, that, that makes me wonder about like, uh, do you get invited to company picnics or the softball team or, or, or you know, are you included at all in the organization or, the, or, or are you just mm-hmm. kind of like the guy stuck down in the bunker Whose whose crappy job it is is to twist the the key every hundred and eight seconds. Crappy job. I mean, that's that's me. You can characterize it how you like. I, I do it mostly virtual. Uh, but, oh, oh, geez, again. Yeah, oh, I'm starting to get. Uh, it's getting old. I mean, I, yeah, I just don't understand how you're able to do this so many times. I mean, you know, it's uh, they they say that they'll uh, you know, let my family live if I uh, wait. Oh my god, your what? So you know, got to do it. Gotta do it. Jeez. So gotta wait work. a second. You gotta wait, work. To, to, to Claire, we gotta drill down on that. Yeah, I mean, so basically, they've threatened that if you don't turn the key, you're they're gonna kill. So did anything bad happen to your family the other day when the outage happened? Oh yeah, I immediately started getting picture pictures um of my um mom and dad um with knives oh, to no. their throats. Oh no! Oh, yeah, those are some really? of the texts I was getting you know Jeez. Oh but they're okay right they're okay yeah. we think they're okay oh yeah i think so i'm sure i think they kind of were using ketchup and stuff you know like trickery oh, okay. and, but have you, you heard effects. from them you, in any you, way did you call them or? Uh, i usually get to talk to them at the end of uh each month so so um okay i good. got a few more weeks before i can i'm allowed to check in and Man. Call us. I'm lucky I got to come on here and talk to you guys. Yeah. This did they amazing. ever let you mm-hmm. outside? Like, do you have freedom to, you know, are, are you like a, it just sounds really dark. It sounds no. like you're almost like a indentured well, servant or like a, a slave or something. Oh, like that's that. good. Yeah, okay. Well, I have, I do have this uh, painting behind me and then I have this fake window behind me that I can kind of look at. And that kind of makes oh, me feel. Okay. Yeah. That kind well, of makes me feel human you know and yeah um, and they sh- certainly they pay you a nice salary and you yeah. have insurance health insurance and uh oh no vac- no vacation no well no, you don't have to go on vacation i mean <clears throat> yeah um I mean, well I, I mean, you know uh um uh no i don't get to really go on on vacation i'm on a staycation <laughs> Yeah, you're yeah. Just like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> oh no, don't say that again. Please, I, I, love, I, I love that joke. Man. How long <laughs> is your contract for? Like, how long is your contract for? Uh, let's see. Uh, I thirty years, so I'm almost so by tw- uh, twenty thirty four, I'll be done. Yeah, I started. Wow, I started. Yeah. Man. Jeez. Do you? Can I just That'll offer? Be great. I can't wait. Can I just offer this up? Go to the club. Um, no. Okay. Don't. Yeah. Go to can, the club. Can, do you want it while we're there. while we're watching right now? Uh, we can watch the key if you want to go and poop right now, if you want, and then we'll take over. You know, like if something happens, uh, you could just post your address you, in the in the chat or something sure? like that. You don't mind? Yeah. If you, yeah. I no. Really go gotta, oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, but don't yeah. fall asleep. Don't fall asleep, though. Oh, I mean, I haven't slept in days, but I, I just don't think there's after last time. I just don't think I can. <laughs> yeah, even not think about going time. to sleep. There's no way yeah, that's yeah. going to happen again. Okay. You know? and yeah, it, I would run. I would just run and go fast before it goes off again, and then we'll sure watch the mind? key. I don't mind. I mean, yeah, I'll be I'll just, I'll yeah, I don't mind. Quick. I don't mind. I've mastered He's doing like go. mini poops. All right, I'll be right back. Okay, mini poops. But, go. but I don't even know. But I don't even know how to turn the key. We're not even able to turn the. Rob, uh, Rob, the key. The thing is going off. This could be his microwave dinner. No, I doubt it's his microwave. It's been about 108 seconds so far. Oh fuck, Rob. How do we? Do? Oh no. Oh no. Shit. Did he put his address in the chat? I mean, let's see it. Okay. Do you have his number? Uh, I don't. I have an email oh, no. address. I have a hotmail address. Oh, my uh, God, what the hell is oh, going on? Sorry, okay, sorry, that man. Fault. That was our fault. Oh, sorry. sorry. Turn the key. Turn the key. Wipe. You got to turn it. Turn it. Uh, I got doo-doo on my hands. Oh. Uh, sorry. 
What the shit? Sorry, this is not <sighs> good. You know, don't don't Damn. tell me it's okay to do that, and I'm going to get I, in trouble again. I, I thought look. I didn't. We didn't know how close it was. Right to the 108 oh, set. We we thought I, that it, it wasn't it, even that. It wasn't even that. It was like we couldn't turn the key. Well, that was the other problem. Is yeah, we don't know where well, you live. Not, was, I, this, was, this was your guy's idea. I was well, Rob's yeah, idea. I didn't do it. It was my idea. It was a dumb idea. I apologize. We almost oh. caused another outage. Oh, All right, oh, God, you know what? I got to really I mean, pinch. You know, to keep everything. Oh God. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that my Facebook oh. is being weird now, but it looks like it's working. Right, you know what? We, I don't know. We should keep you. Yeah, it was flickering. I, I I don't know if we should keep you longer because I feel like we're we're going to delay you from actually doing your job here. I mean, yeah, we well, can. We I mean, can it's, it's great to have human contact. Uh, I'll tell you that for sure. Oh, is there anything? Day, yeah. Is there anything you want to tell the outside world? I mean, you know, you have people watching now, uh, and yeah. the, you know, you've never um, really had a platform. Oh wow. Okay. Well, uh, yeah. I guess uh, you know. Uh, sorry. Uh, I'm mm -hmm. sorry if I messed up your, your day for six hours, you know, I, <laughs> yeah, now you don't really see, you don't I, seem, you don't I, seem sorry. You actually seem very like, well, I'm, I'm having a hard time here mm -hmm. myself. We're all having, we all have problems, don't we? You know, that's right. Okay. Sure. I got you know, a lot of I'm problems. sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. Well, I mean, yeah. if somebody wants to know, like, do you, like, you know, you've been there, you've had a lot of time to think you've had a lot of time to, you know, be by yourself. Do you, have you found anything salvation, like a key to life or anything like that? Well, I mean, this is my key to life over here. I tell you what, this is the, the, the fail safe key. That's what I got. I, this I, is my, I know, but I don't, but don't you, don't you see there? there's like a poetic, there's something very poetic about you being trapped in a cage mm -hmm. uh, and making sure that we have more content but we are also trapped in a cage with our phones and our social media and the, and and we are a slave to this as much as you're a slave to this i think we need to break the cycle right right rob you don't want to take pictures of your cat like we got to break the cycle you know what oh, what? oh no yeah i would say you know what you know what helps yeah. me um uh, Sign up for Facebook. You know, it's a nice time. You get on there oh, and you just you, you know what about stuff. I, I, I'm gonna yeah. I'm actually gonna I'm actually gonna post happening. that. I'm gonna actually tape myself. I'm gonna post that on Facebook because I do want to get people like let's let's stop living in social media. Let me say I'll do let me tape that again for myself. What's up? It's your Instagram homeboy, Paul Shear. Um, and I just want to let you guys know we are slaves to this social media machine and if you feel the same way i want you to repost uh like subscribe and follow because we cannot be doing this uh forever uh let's not be like our friend uh jim who's trapped in the bunker peace like and subscribe all right I, I, oh, what's up what's <laughs> up yeah okay <laughs> who's who's using whatsapp um are there are there I a lot of use whatsapp you do i do, do you mess it you, for clippers chat okay a lot of uh, human traffickers use WhatsApp too. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, you're right about that. There's you say that you say that in a positive way, like that's a good thing. Well, it's not. Hey, well, it's not. Pri it's private. Everybody's got to communicate, you know, and that's it's about as private okay. as you can get. Yeah, yeah, I guess. All right. Well, Jim, thanks so much, man, for coming on the show, and great to see you. And and you know, if you if you get sad, just look at that painting behind you. I think that'll brighten your day. Oh, it always does. Yeah. Uh, that's, that's my parents' yard. Oh, wow. Uh, I, painted it, I painted it from memory. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, it's, uh, it's sad. So, uh, yeah. yeah it's, it's sad. Yeah. Last okay, time well, I saw uh, it, I was, gosh, I was 14. Yeah. That's right. Well, I, well, I hope, do you want to, uh, do you want to go just real quick and do another poop and we'll watch the key? Well, we can't do that. I mean, if you, wanna... if you don't, I would rather have somebody have eyes on it really quick. If you yeah, that's okay. good. Okay, we'll just watch it. Just we'll just watch it, Paul. That's why the least we can do. Is why you did it. this again? Because because we, it's like, at least someone is watching it, Paul. Well, that doesn't mean anything. It doesn't mean anything. It means that we will know when an outage is coming. Man, but we should have gotten his number or something. Or oh, we should have. I, I should have gotten his phone number. Oh, wait. Oh, oh shit! No. Oh god! Uh, all right, it went off again. Right, it went I'm off again. My Facebook. Sure he's my back. hasn't even posted. He's got to come back. Um, uh -oh. This is okay. bad. Mm. Uh, Maybe it is uh, the microwave. That one sounds like the microwave. Okay. No, Rob. It, my thing is is 
Oh. It is flickering right now. It is My flickering. Instagram it's not going down. up. Yeah. My Instagram is down. Oh, All right. Sorry. You know, I'm never letting oh. you guys do this. Sorry, sorry, sorry. sorry, sorry, sorry. Get him out of here. Get him out of here. I got, I got a turd out hanging out of my hat. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> That's Damn. kind of a dick. I mean, a little bit. A yeah. little aggressive. A little aggressive. I don't understand I mean. why Facebook makes them wear those like North Korean military uniforms. Like, did you get that at all? I prefer Were, it. I don't. I mean, I, mean prefer, I would prefer it. Like, I went to Catholic school my whole entire life. It was great mm -hmm. to just wake up and know I have to put on this white shirt, mm -hmm. these gray pants, and this tie. Easy, oh, okay. easy. I see, I see. You know, I mean, it was weird because then I had to kind of develop my own style after I left high school. But how hard was that, that? How hard was that? It was that? a little bit hard to yeah. go from not shopping for anything to then uh, getting clothes. I mean, I just was like, get me back in there. Put me back down the well. Yeah, 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 yeah. That must have you been know? hard. Paul, um, I want to yeah. I want to quickly transition. Um, can I can I transition to? Um, uh, yes, I would love to have you transition to that. I want to. Can I just show you this quick thing? Just to, we were talking about Tom Cruise deepfakes before uh, okay. we met your friend. I yeah, just, I just hope this isn't another gotcha where you show it's me not a gotcha, my but face gonna... at a murder scene or something like that. All I'm saying, Rob, is watch yourself. Okay. The doctor called me. No, and. I... The doctor called me and told oh, and? you, told me to tell you to watch it, watch yourself. Okay. okay. I will watch myself. Okay. Watch yourself. Now, um, this is, uh, this is how good deep fakes can get. Uh, that's why. Oh. <laughs> Mr. Uh, Gorbachev, <laughs> he said, you know, Mr. Uh, Mr. Gorbachev, I'm not nervous, I don't know. He goes, well, remember how much a polar bear weighs? I said, polar bear? He said, enough to break the ice. <laughs> it's the last time I've ever seen Macau Gorbachev. So there it is. Okay. Yeah, the my problem with that obviously yeah. is that so that is a deep fake. So that is so that guy is not uh he doesn't look anything like Tom Cruise. So he, um, so are are we just seeing his physical is, yeah. mannerisms? Oh, yeah. that's the guy. Okay, so he does look like him. No, no, like this is a deep fake. Okay. So we don't yeah. know because his voice. What I'm, my point is that the voice sucks. Like he should at least sound like Tom Cruise. Okay, so I see what you're saying. So I, I think he has this. I think he's he, everyone's saying the voice is wrong. I thought he sounded pretty good. No, no, I, no, 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 no. Paul, come on. All right. You don't. All you don't right. need to apologize. And is this a friend of yours? Are you being paid to promote? I'm this not guy? being. I am not being paid to support okay. deep faking Tom Cruise. But I will tell you that uh, there is some money in it. And uh, if you want me to support your deep fakes, you can just send me <laughs> what people are. That's a business now. I'll support getting, you. I will say getting check famous this. people to promote deep fakes. That's check, that's this, check this out. Check this out. Check this deep fake out. And while you're there, let me give you some herpes for free without any sexual intercourse. You, you're, I think you meant genital warts, but I'll let it go. Uh, no, I do um, herpes and genital warts. Okay, but okay. yeah, but Rob, I think one of the things that we've been talking about uh, is kind of your new hobby, I guess. Well, um, yeah, I mean, we, just very quickly, um, you know, I've I've watched um, some Squid Game. Yeah, popular and show. Everyone's going crazy. Very, very popular show. Worldwide hit. My wife was just reading to me that the guy, I think the guy that created it, like wrote it uh, like in a million years ago, like 10 years ago. Yes, and everyone, and no everyone asked. Yeah, everyone said no. And now it's like the number one show in like 90 countries. But anyway. I do wonder though, when I read that story about that guy, I do wonder yeah. if he's seeing any of that money. Like is like, did someone just buy this on a lark? He did. And then, and then like it, like, did he make money? Is he going to, I mean, I guess my question is, yes, he sold it, but is he going to be rich? Cause I think people assume like when you have the number one show and all these different things, especially on Netflix, you're going to be uh, rich, but that's not the way it works. Great point. Uh, yeah. Now that there are only like, you know, four 
places to put entertainment. They can yeah. pay you nothing, which is why you uh, why I live in this garage. I mean, you know, and, and that's I, yeah, okay. I didn't want I didn't want to I didn't want to bring us down. You know, I just didn't. Yeah, yeah. But, uh, but anyway, so the show is very popular. I put the word out on the street. Uh, I I posted my home address um, on the internet, and I said if you like whoa. Squid Game. Plea and you're and you're into fan fiction and specifically into erotic Ooh. Squid Game fan fiction. Send me your erotic Squid Ooh, Game like fan fiction and I will read it on our Twitch show. So I did get a lot, and I'll just read you. Okay. Uh, now what I will got? tell you. I, I need yeah. to, you know, set this up properly. If there are any kids in the room, if your kids are there, Paul. No, my kids I, aren't here. Okay, if there are any kids around, this is very erotic. And wow. people will, y- y- when you hear the words that I'm about to read that these people sent in to me, you yeah. might become very physically aroused. Ooh, so, all right. Well, now you're talking my language. I mean, I am, you know, I'm down to clown in the uh, erotic I, I, clown I, I, town. I don't know what that means. Um, okay, let me. People in the chat are ready to crank. What, what does that mean? Um, ready to crank? I know. I, I'm hoping that people will not uh, masturbate to this. Okay. At least live. Okay. okay. So here's the first one. Uh, okay. Mentally so the, crank. Uh, yeah. I don't know what that means okay. or in, what that involves. But uh, so this okay. is some erotic fan fiction for uh, Squid Game. Um, the guard in the red suit Ooh. was looking at me as I was next door to him in my room, I am also a guard, but I'm that undercover cop that he didn't know was an undercover cop. Okay. Okay. So there was a soft knocking at my door. It's a little sloppily written. And I'm, I'm just Paul, gonna say, I'm, yeah, okay. You know, I'm okay. Really, I'm, just, I'm just saying, I'm just saying that like, it just seems like it's a little like janky. Like I haven't heard people. Okay. Go ahead. I think that they just feel like there's a certain amount of exposition that they have to get out. To yeah, I up. mean, there is a lot. Yeah, there. Okay. Yeah, of course. So I guess there's a part where there's a undercover cop that's dressed as one of the soldiers, and yep. he's in his little room, and there's a guy next door, and they're yeah. Okay, great. Okay. So there was a soft knock on the wall. Knock, knock, knock. I knocked back. Knock, knock, knock. I opened my door. And there he was in his red suit. And there I was in my red suit. And we just looked at each other through our black face masks with right. the circles. Okay. And Again, they're was, explaining a lot. Okay. Yeah. Paul, please. So sorry. And I know that a lot of people are upset that I'm like wrecking their cranking and I don't want to interrupt it. I just, it's just a, it's a little bit. Okay. Go ahead. I lost my place. Okay. He knocked on my door. And I opened it and there he was in his red suit with the circle on his mask. And there I was in my red suit. Also with a circle, we looked at each other and then it happened. What? We started hugging, aggressive hugging, like really a lot of hugs. Okay. Well, hold on. You can't so really that's do that one. Wait, that, was that was a lot of really- hugs. Well, that was the first one. I think that was written by that might have been like a kid that wrote that because you know anyone oh, can watch. Not be, a kid should not be watching a Squid Game. I, I I haven't um vetted the ages on any of the submissions because I wasn't sure how to do that. There's just okay, so yeah. much. I mean, material. yeah. I mean, if you can write, you can write, and that's all it is. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and, can you, and, do and you know, anyone like can be a, like into your microphone a little bit. People are asking if you get like into your microphone. Uh, yeah, I'm a little worried where this is going, but sure. Okay. 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 So, uh, and people say they want to know who the authors are. I can't give you the names because I okay. told people I would protect their identities because a lot of these people have jobs. Okay. Uh, this next story is about um, two of the prisoners. Um, okay. Okay. I am the bad guy with the snake tattoo on my face. And well, why wouldn't he refer to himself by his own name? Uh, again, I, I don't like, like, wouldn't it be like, wouldn't it be like, I, Paul, this is, I am here. Paul, Paul, okay. Paul, I, you know, I'm reading what's sent in. Yeah. Me. Okay. Got it. If you want to criticize these people, 
We that's a whole other show. We could do right. that. You got it. You got it. You got it. Sorry again. Okay. You got it. I am the bad guy, and I got a snake on my face, and I got lots of muscles because I'm so strong. But I'm wearing a green jumpsuit because I'm a prisoner because I gambled a lot and I had a lot of like that. that. I'm reading. I'm reading this because I'm a prisoner. Like you know, it's like oh, it seems like. uh, Sorry, Paul. I mean, it's a little hard to slip into character. You'd be like maybe like I'm Doc Sue. I'm not going to do an Asian voice. That's and that's not an Asian voice. Racist. I'm just reading it more. I'm I'm reading it more. I said I'm Doc Su, and everyone knows me by the snake the, in my face. Like okay, yeah, but this person didn't write that. I'm just okay. reading. All right, all right, words. all right. I mean, could I write better I was, erotic fan fiction? Yes, I could write better one. I'm just telling you, you don't know where this goes yet, and this one is okay. very erotic. Okay, this is okay. a John. The first one was about hugging. It was weird. Okay, that I think that was written by a child. Okay, here okay. we go. Anyway, I am the bad guy. I got a snake on my face and nobody likes me. And the lady that was kissing me that one time in the bathroom where we broke up because I'm so mean. Anyway, we are in the game where we got to um, get the carve the shapes out of the honeycomb. And guess what happened? a soldier came up behind me in his red suit with the circle on the face. And I stood up and guess what happened? He unzipped my green jumpsuit and he reached down into my pocket and he pulled out my hard knife because I had a knife in my pocket. Did you think I was going to say wiener? Because I said knife. I'm like, I can give these notes. So that's the end of that one. Did you think I was gonna like what is this like prank erotic fiction? If I mean people here are wanting to crank, and I feel like what, what does that mean? Are you trying to, to say crank that it? People want to jack off to the well, erotic I mean, I'm just reading, I'm reading what the chat is saying, and, and people are like saying that was a prank crank, that was goof erotica. It's not you know. Gr- it's not good. Pocket knife. Porn. Everyone, look. These are okay. emails that people sent. All right, me read the on next the- one. Read the next one. Read the okay. next one. Hey, read the Fine. next one. Okay. Hey, everybody. I am the really old guy in the show yeah, who is again. like the guy with the the dementia, and I'm in a green jumpsuit. And this is the part where I pee in my pants because I have dementia and I'm old. Do you like it when old guys pee in their pants? That's the end of that one. Okay. I mean, that was weird. These are not, I I, like, I, I'm used to like more erotic. Okay. What you said was Rob, let's put together a new segment for the Twitch show. Yeah. I get into something pop culture related topical. Yeah. You know exactly, yeah. So that's what I did. I went out and I did exactly what you asked me to do. I had people send me thousands and thousands and okay. thousands okay. of stories. Okay. okay, I'll read one more. Gosh. Okay. No, oh, this is a good one. I mean, I have, I've, I've, you know, okay. <laughs> I have the, I, I've read some Harry Potter erotic fiction, and I just, you know, I know where where it's supposed to go. I'm saying. Hey, everybody. I'm the Korean girl in the show that is a supermodel, but they don't put any makeup on me. So I look like I'm not that pretty or hot, but I'm like a total fashion model. Anyway, I'm at the um, game where we have to play marbles or and they're gonna no not the marbles one it's the tug of war one where we have to do tug of war anyway i'm in my green jumpsuit all right there's so many guards. it seems like a recap there's so many guards they're all pointing their guns at me and i'm like what am i gonna do anyway so then it was tug of war and we were up against that other team and the other team was so strong and we were like, how are we going to win? This is going to be impossible. What are we going to do? But the old guy had a great plan. And then I took off 
my jumpsuit because okay. I, I was yeah. Paul, it's starting to get erotic. This is what okay, you want. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, I took off my jumpsuit because the game was over and it was time for me to go <sighs> to bed. Good night. I got under my blanket. Good night. That's Good night. What they wrote, bro. <sighs> Look, this if really... you it, uh, let me let me ask you a question, Paul. If you have yeah, I guess yeah, a source ahead. of erotic fan fiction about Squid Game, the show kind of just came on. So these are people's this is the first people in first wave. Yeah. And so okay. maybe they're not the best writers, but okay. they have ideas and some of it is very sexy. I think I read some of the sexiest stuff. Do you remember the part about the old man that wet his pants? Cause he has dementia. Yes, I do. That yes. was in there. So, I mean, I, 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 you know, I, I mean, I mean, look, if, yeah, if someone in the, someone in the chat says this is a good game for the discord. Great. If you're, if you're on the Discord and you have watched Squid Game and you want to write erotic fan fiction, hit us up. Hit us up. The show's the number one show in the world. We'll be happy to bring you on any time. I but mean, I, I did I did do we some Googling we, and I found I found some more. Smirch. We shouldn't besmirch the people that took time out of their day to write these sexy things and go to the post office and mail it to me. Okay. I mean, what did I you so. say? You t you Googled. I found, what you I found Google? some I found some I found some other stuff online that's a little bit more sexy with Squid Game. Go ahead. Tell me what it okay, is. Okay, I'm just gonna skip down here. Um uh let me just see. No here. spoilers, because I'm, I'm only on like episode five No, I mean, you know. Um hold on one second. I'm just gonna see if I can give you a good moment. Um let's see. Uh let's see, okay. Uh, well, this one doesn't seem like, okay, well, I guess maybe you're right. You know, this is just maybe just straight up fan fiction. Uh, this is not a, yeah. So I guess maybe you have the sexiest one, I guess, I guess yeah. you do, I guess, you know, yeah. so, uh, you know, again, the, the, the marketplace is emerging. I would say that we are probably the first movers into this um right. space you know yeah and i think most people are still just like absorbing the show and watching right. it it's okay. very yeah. violent it is hyper yeah. violent so maybe a lot of people don't write so erotic people could submit about. more erotic fan fiction or based around any popular shows that are currently yeah. on right now or like, yeah, yeah or you know if, if you want to take a crack at squid game you can take a crack at it send it to me i'll read it on the air or if you uh, go on the Discord, how do we do it? We'll we'll bring so them on. They could the just could post you know, it. We could bring Molly, it on there. They could read Molly, it. Yeah, Molly bring them on, and then I just they yeah, but read. I do want it to be crank worthy. You keep saying that, and that's the that that's um, yeah, it's just the part that keeps bumping with me because I don't I don't know what you mean. I I, I think okay. you mean that everyone should be like are you saying that everyone should be jerking off to this like cuz i i don't Absolutely. know that that's something we all want to do together but okay uh, okay but I mean, anyway no, i'm, I'm happy okay. i'm happy, right. I'm happy you to, know what i think we i think we got enough yeah we got it you can send okay, it let to me us. let me switch gears here and say uh, and i'm not being paid to say this okay. but our friends at cbs are celebrating because yes. I believe it is the start of their new fall season of uh, young uh, Sheldon. Is that correct? That's a name. I mean, yeah. Young, is. young Tonight. Sheldon. Yeah. Tonight is yeah. the premiere yeah. episode of Young That's Sheldon. Yeah. And uh, and there's and, a lot of good stuff tonight. Yeah. There's a, there's a lot of good shows on CBS and... Um, there, some of them I'm not. I'm not familiar with. I'll be honest. I'm. I'm not familiar with all of them. I. I am familiar with Young Sheldon because I've auditioned many, 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 many of times course. for the show. Uh, I've never been on. <laughs> never been on the show. I'm a huge. I haven't fan. been on. A, I don't think I've been on a CBS show as well. So I feel like you know. I, I obviously it's the uh, what do they call it the uh, the the Diamond Network. You know, it's it's a, sh a network full of hits. I haven't seen a lot of these shows. So what we thought we would do tonight is look through CBS's fall lineup. Molly um, knows what these shows are about. We do not know what these shows are about. We're going to make our best guess about what we think these shows are about. And we will see how close we are to them in a second. 
What do you think? Okay. Great. So All you're right. going to, you're going to show me, you're going to read Both me. Of us, the, cause, okay. Here we go. So this is a show called uh, a million little things. Yes. What do we think a million little things is now Molly will have the answer. You and I should, we should try to kind of yeah. figure out what, what is a million little things about? Okay. I might need to recuse myself from this one because I know this one. I've been on this show. You have been on a million little things. Yes, and we both have a friend that writes on the show. I now know what this show is. <laughs> well, all right. Well, uh, but all right. Well, there. Yeah, it is a show where now let me think if I if I ex am explaining this right. I also okay. I believe I auditioned for the Ron Livingston part. This show is about. People are um, also saying this is not a CBS show. This is technically not. <laughs> no, that's an ABC show. ABC show. That is an ABC show. Great yes. cast. Ron yes. Livingston. People love this uh, show. Grace way, Park. Yeah. Ron, I don't think uh, this Romney should be <laughs> in the CBS it. category. Right. You yeah, know yeah. what? Out of the CBS yeah. category. Okay. Here we is go. This here a we go. Yeah. Home um, economics. Is we know people CBS here too. Show. I don't know. Maybe this is. Maybe this is. Uh, this is. Well, this is a show. Should this is to for Grace, right? Okay, That's okay, for Grace. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. Now this is. <laughs> I don't know that any of these are CBS shows. This home economics is so basically the game. Let's change the game. The game is okay. what? Are, what are these shows that we have not seen? That's we, what. That's all the game is. Yeah, that okay. is the game. So let's Molly take the knows. CBS. Let's take CBS out of it. We don't know because yes. I don't. We know don't know if it's CBS. Show. Okay. Uh, by the way, uh, people, if we want to go back and just have a definitive answer for a million little things it's yes. uh it's inspired by the life of michael colton the home economics takes a look at the heartwarming no, that's, that's, that's not a million little things oh. home, home economics is the oh, okay yeah, yeah. <laughs> wait is this, million... is this michael colton from colton in a boot <laughs> yes probably from, oh wow okay yes 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 <laughs> all right well this maybe we can't we have we know too many of these people. we know we too many people that are involved in these shows uh, right, a million little things more. is a show to go back on that um i think the show is about um a group I'm gonna of friends take a guess. Yeah. yeah what do you what do you think it's about well, look, I, I, this is not this you, is, you, you pitch I, it I think what i think what we're talking about here is judging a book by its cover right yeah. this is not about this is not about anything else i'm trying i'm literally trying to guess what i think the show is about okay. i'm not yeah, trying to yes. uh, i'm not guess trying to and i'll tell you it. i'll tell you if you're right or wrong guess okay right i'm not trying to slight the show and again not, like, i've right. been on this show so i i want you to factor that in would i be okay. on a show that you're about to describe uh here we go a million little things is a modern day 30 something about the comings and goings of three couples one mm -hmm. who is in a thruple okay. and their and how financially and politically they may differ but that actually challenges them to get better and there are a million little things we have to deal with in life and we always are striving to get done with those but then we realize that is life life is a million little things Okay, Paul, first of all, thank you for coming to the meeting. And there's the door. Oh. A million little things is about the suicide of the <laughs> main character and how uh, I think that affects and unites everyone <laughs> in the cast around. I believe Molly. That's do you, correct. Or do you have do you have do you have a do you have a uh Yes. A thing. Hi. Okay. Can you hear me? <laughs> we can. They say friendship isn't one big thing. It's a million little things. Yes. And that's true for a group of friends from Boston who bonded over uh, under unexpected circumstances. Suicide. Some of them have achieved, achieved success. Others are struggling in their careers and relationships. But all of them feel stuck in life. After one of them dies unexpectedly, suicide. It's just the wake up call the others need to finally start living. Along the way, they discover that friends may be the one thing to save them from themselves. Yes. All right. Now, was I right or wrong about the thruple? 
Mm. Uh, because I, I'll tell you why I thought that. Because I don't think it looks that's... like that was me on like, transparent. I think you're okay, thinking it looks, yeah, because it looks like Romney has his arm around one woman, but also oh, the way he's positioned, oh, okay, okay, like okay. his arm around another woman as well. And it seems, but you know, there's a lot of there's a lot of hugging in this one, so I don't know. All right, um, all right, let's do the next. Let's do the next one. Okay. We, I think we we spoiled home economics, unfortunately. People think um, I'm joking. They're really it. It is about. I think Ron Livingston did kill himself in the pilot. I think he jumps off. Wait, about oh, so Ron Livingston's not Ron. Ron is. I think he's in flashbacks. Football. I think he's <laughs> okay. He is. <laughs> I think he's in flashbacks. Um, Ron could, is in my fantasy football league, and Ron is very good in it. But he won't shit talk until he's like, until he has, has <laughs> defeated us all. Who uh, else all right. is in your fantasy football league? I'm more oh. interested in that. Okay, my fantasy football league is Jerry O'Connell, Adam oh. Pally. We, uh, by the way, we need to have Jerry back on the show. Well, I Jerry's asked. now a big time uh, host on the CBS's The Talk. Is so, he in New York now permanently? No, or? he. No, I think The Talk is out here in L.A. Oh, it's in L.A. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So um yeah, my fantasy team, I'll tell you who's on uh who's in that in that or it's uh all right. It is um Rob Cordry, yes, uh, Scott know. Armstrong, yep. uh Lance Bangs, um yep. Ron Livingston. Uh what a hold on group. one second. Yeah, it's a good group. It's uh hold on one second. I'm looking at I have to like make sure some Cordry people have, doesn't uh, even watch football, does he? I you know, I think he does. Rob Riggle, I said Rob Riggle's in there. Um, uh, Matt Walsh. Um, there is that's Riggle. Um, this is uh, Chris Kula, great writer. Chris Kula, uh, Jerry O'Connell. I said that. Adam Pally said that. Um, we have a team called Team Oseri because Gil Oseri was in it, but he's not in it anymore, and that's Brad Morris <laughs> now. Uh, and then we have Matt Besser in there, and uh, yeah, and I think that is it. That is our team. That's wow, our that's league. A big, that's a big group. Okay, let's go on to the next show because I do like that. People want to know who's number one in our league. I'll tell you who number oh. one in our league is right now, just because it's you know now you're invested. Uh, all right, our league right now, our league. Uh, okay, standings as of right now, there is a number one is Chris Kula, writer for Lower Decks, and wow. then there is a uh, a three way tie for second, which is Ron Livingston, Lance Bangs, and myself, and then. Uh, and then it goes down from there. But the person who's lost the most is Brad Morris. And second to that is Adam Pally and Scott Armstrong and Matt Walsh. Do you get a lot of requests because oh, of yeah. the league uh, yes. on Instagram? Like, hey, man, can you make a video for me in my fantasy? Yeah. You Absolutely. do? Okay. Yeah. Because I got one recently and I didn't respond to it. And I felt bad. I was like, oh, because I mean, I was on the league like a handful of times. No, but- they love Russell. People but, love Russell, but I was like, "Why are you?" Certainly, they must have. People asked want it. Sure. They want it. Yeah, no. Uh, I didn't respond, but, and I felt bad. All right, here um, we go. Uh, okay, the next, next show. show okay. I know a little bit about this. Show. La Brea. Okay, what do you what do you know about this? First, you of all, know, the, know you know the whole deal. There's a. I don't know the whole deal. I don't know the whole deal at all. Okay, okay. all I know is that my friend is on the show, um, and I have yet to watch it. But from what I understand, who's your friend? I don't. I don't want to get into it. Okay. I don't want to get. I don't want to get into you know <laughs> name dropping here. Okay. Uh, Natalie Z is my friend. Natalie, okay. Z, the great okay. Natalie Z yes. Yes. from yes. Detour. Yes. She was my wife in a movie called Happily. She also yeah. played Jerry O'Connell's wife in a movie. Uh, so La Brea is a show that takes place in Los Angeles. A sinkhole opens. Yeah, a big one, right? A sucks, big one. Sucks yeah. People down. Oh, and... okay. Oh, I, they go into it. <laughs> yeah, it's. Ba- I think it's. I could be wrong. I haven't seen it, and okay. it did great. Like the first week, it's it huge. Did, it's a yeah, giant it's, show. It yeah, did great. I think it's kind of like Land of the Lost, where they fall. I, am I wrong? Well, they go they into f- dinosaur times. I don't know about dinosaurs. I don't know about that. They go Molly. in there. And then other people fall in there and then they find themselves in there and they're in like a whole middle earth world. Molly hit us. What is it about? When a massive sinkhole mysteriously opens in Los Angeles, it tears a family in half, separating mother and son from father and daughter. 
When part of the family finds themselves in an unexplainable primeval world alongside a disparate group of strangers, they must work to survive and uncover the mystery of where they are and if there is a way back home. Okay, okay so we so don't know. Not. We don't know about dinosaurs yet. But right, I thought so it's basically the like they're, 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 the, the two families are separated in the medieval primeval world. I think like the dad got sucked in and they're like, oh no, dad. And then they go in, they find him. They're like, he's like, whoa, my family, what are you guys doing here? And, oh, wow. Yeah, I'm, I'm he's in, probably I'm already tradition. started like a relationship with like a, a, a monkey family. Or, you know, a cave, a cave person. Cave lady. Um, yeah. All right, that is good. Now I'm seeing the birds. Now I'm seeing the exotic birds. Okay, got to yeah. watch La Brea. Putting that on the list. We should. All right, uh, we this watch. is one okay, I see a poster this for is the all one. the time. Yeah. I don't know the what this show is about, but I think I have a good guess about what this okay, show is about. Guess what it is, because I think I know what this one is. Okay, this show, Ordinary Joe, is like the movie Sliding Doors with Gwyneth Paltrow. What are the lives that we could have had if we followed something different and so and what, are, what are his three different well lives? based on the poster i'm going to say rock star doctor or cop so the show is essentially <laughs> cop cop <laughs> cop doctor rock star <laughs> so it's an hour-long show where you're getting three shows in one played by the same actor so you're getting to see <laughs> This is a brilliant idea for a show. By the way, so I'm, it is, sure yeah. I'm sure whoever made this show, I'm sure we know them. I'm sure we know people on this show. Yes, I love it. But Dr. Rockstar Cop is what I think it is. So either he can't be all three, but it's he's living in three different realities. But now how did um, that happen? Did he fall down coma. and hit his head? Is there magic? Is there a time portal like go ahead, Molly? Yeah. Uh Paul, you're exactly right. Um so three parallel lives of the show's main character, Jim, uh, no, Joe Kimbrough. Jim. <laughs> Joe Kimbrough, he makes a pivotal life-changing decision at his college graduation and follows him on three parallel timelines as a police officer, a music star, and a nurse. Okay, so he... A nurse. Like, so it. we're watching three versions of his life, but they're never going to intersect. And someone says it's Joe Shimbo, which is... <laughs> But what if the cop shoots somebody at a concert? No, it's a different. The they're, they're like rock star Joe doesn't exist in the cop Joe's uh, world. Okay. Yeah, I'm pitching a twist where okay, cop, okay, got it. The cop could shoot someone at a concert and then bring him to the nurse doctor and say, "Hey, you yes. fix him up." And okay. You I want to. Oh, I see what you're saying. So you could like, the, so we'd have to be. I could interact. Yeah, yeah. Um, I will say one thing too. Um, I, I I know, and this is look. This is uh, you know misogyny at work right here. I just I I labeled him a doctor. He is a nurse. Yeah. Uh, but you know, uh, so shame on me. Um, this is okay. This is what someone wrote here. It goes the man who serves each of these men coffee every morning, and even though he's ordinary, he changes their lives for the better. No, that's not. The real plot that's somebody's guess right okay. i don't think so i don't think that's okay. it now yeah okay. someone, someone in the chat said and i agree is a rock star an ordinary joe i don't know by the way uh by the way first of all thank you comedy hub for rating us we appreciate that that's amazing and uh i people say it's sliding doors for white men uh we'll get back to this uh we'll get back to our cv because we have a couple more in here and this is actually pretty fun because it's we're not <laughs> We're not coming at it. We're just coming at it from the poster. Like, yeah, what by, am I, yeah. By the yeah. way, we, I want to be clear. I'm not making fun of these shows. I would, I would love making fun of these shows would mean show. that we have more knowledge like, of the show. I don't know. I don't watch enough network shows to know what these shows are. That's Simply, my the only thing that we're doing is saying, I'm driving down a street in LA. I, I see, see all these posters, these billboards, yeah, and I don't. know What, what is it about? What's up, Comedy Hub? Uh, let's bring on uh, Whitmer Thomas, right? Yeah, Whitmer. Uh, let's chop him in here. Boom. What's hey! up, Whitmer? Hey, how are what you? What is happening? Hey, guys. Good to see you. How's it good going, dude? You. Uh, I'm doing good. I got this here. Oh, <laughs> sweet. Are you doing a lot of housework? Are you getting you, you uh, doing a lot of like home construction? Uh, yeah, I, I built these guitar racks. Whoa. Ooh. Let me ask are you, you a are you I a great guitar player? No, no. <laughs> but uh, I love playing and so I got a lot of guitars. 
Yeah. But wait, I have a question for you because I am I've never asked this because I'm too embarrassed to ask it in real life because it would it would reveal how little I know. Uh why do people have multiple guitars? Is it like I'm keeping this one in one tune? Like what what is the reason for it? Is it <clears throat> yeah. Uh well, you know, you gotta have an electric. Got yeah. one. Yeah, yeah. Gotta yeah. have an acoustic one. Sure. Okay. So then sometimes then there's a you know acoustic one that you can that has a jack in it like yeah. that you can play you can plug in it then you know okay. there's a nylon string acoustic so then that's oh, wow. usually the the third guitar which is a, a different sound and then I personally like a parlor guitar which is a smaller guitar that I can just play around the house Ooh. and uh, so that those are my and then I have a bass guitar that uh, I I Whoa. record some with. And then I have a old bass guitar from my youth that I just don't want to part ways with. I love now, that. I yeah. Which one gets the most chicks? Would the you most, if, you, if you had to guess? I'd say the electric guitar, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like I, that pu- pu- slam on that distortion pedal and do some. Wow! 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 Chicks love now, it. Girls love it. Guitar person, solo. <laughs> are you a person that would like play, like would just like pick up a guitar and play? I feel like I was always surrounded by people who, like, if there's a piano around, they would make their way over the piano, and then all of a sudden we are now gathered around the piano. It's like, mm-hmm. are you a person that is uninvitedly making music, or are you you need to be like we're doing this, and then you're yeah, like yeah. Yeah. I'm that I, I I'm not a guitar player who uh I wish I was, but I'm not that kind of guy. I think I'm mixed on that kind of person because holiday party, lovely to have somebody go around the piano, yeah. be able to play. But then I also feel like you are dictating the the room. The like mm-hmm. you like once you start playing a guitar, then it's like it's rude to do anything but listen to you play the guitar but for some reason a piano doesn't have that vibe i I wish i could play really good piano and just sort of start tickling those keys and people i i say to you know you can talk i'm just having some fun yeah it's like it's like a social instrument the the piano is it it, i I think you're right about that i i was very jealous about someone who would just be able to just it just again like tinkle on the keys it's not it's it maybe i'm playing maybe i'm not maybe i'm just having a good time I don't know, guys. I, I think I think if you're playing an instrument in a room, I think P, I think that means pay attention to me. Focus on that. Like, very seldom is there a case. I think, unless you're in like an airport where you're like walking by a guy, you know, and you're that guy. Right. Oh, okay, that guy's playing the piano. Like, usually yeah. it's like, hey, don't you want to hear this song? Well, right? that's true. You know, you're right. Maybe I I wish there's here's I I retract my wish. Okay. And now I'm Let me I'm, let me write that down. He's retracting it. <laughs> I'm editing. My wish is that I was a, I I knew how to play things by ear. That, that way, would be a I great could, wish. Guitar, yeah. piano, somebody was like play, you know, whatever the song is. Yellow Goodbye, Yellow Brick Road. I don't know what that song is. No, but yeah, but, but yeah, you would just be able you to just, just like, do it. Like, play a little bit of it, and then they get into it, and they just like follow a groove. I feel like I've I've seen people do that. It's impressive. It is something that I have no skill at doing. When I was a kid, I would take guitar lessons, and to get out of practicing, I would overtune my guitar so the string would break, and I'd be like, "Can't." Whoa, uh, that's really smart. That's yeah, weird. can't uh, can't that's play any more guitar now. <laughs> that's a weird move. No one. I've never heard that before. No I one would does hi- that. I I think that's cool. I like little kid schemes. I I would hide uh, my shoes whenever I had to stay at my friend's house because I knew he had to go to church on Sunday morning. I would hide my shoes and be like, <laughs> I can't go. <laughs> I love. Um, yeah. Hey, Wit, you um, are you doing any stand up on the road, or are you mostly in LA? Like, are you out now? Are you back out on the on the on the no. on the circuit? No, I I go I'm about, I go on tour in December. Okay, um, I did do a show in Las Vegas. I did a weekend of shows at a music festival called Life Is Beautiful. Okay, um, that sounds terrible. I got COVID. <laughs> no. Wait, did you? I heard about this story, and I wasn't going to bring it up because I didn't know if you were going to be publicly admit this. You, all right, this story is crazy because you took every 
single precaution, right? Like, I mean, yeah. t- like walk us through how you did this because I this heard was this recently. Was my, yeah. Yeah, it was pretty recent, maybe a month ago. Or I don't know how long ago oh, it was. No. But uh, I, you know, I didn't, and I didn't get symptoms, and I'm, you know, there. I did test positive for COVID though. Uh, I just did all the ru- all the shit you're supposed to do, and yeah. um, you went I with hugged. A, you went with a small group of people. You yeah. were all tested. You wore yeah. your masks. You yeah. did your thing. Like none of the is, other people got COVID, and we all you, stayed like, together, is, drove together. Is it, is it one of those things where you are like, I feel like whenever you get like sick, people are trying to always diagnose like where you might have gotten it from. Yeah. Like, are was there a time when you because you had to quarantine, you did have to quarantine for a period of time away yeah. from uh, away from your lady and, and you had to make sure yeah. that you were, you know, like, is there are you going through a mental checklist and going, I, maybe it was when like, I took down my mask. for No, it was at Hooters. I went to Hooters. <laughs> It was definitely at Hooters. And I took my mask off to get a photo in front of the wall with all the owls on it. That's where I got I got COVID there. There's no question. I breathed in some COVID. That was where it was. That it Man. was that is amazing. I <laughs> <laughs> it was so funny because, you know, I was being very – I went to uh, a Clipper game last night. And I've been going back uh, to Clipper games since the playoffs. And I did these amazing seats my friend brought me. And his seats are essentially um, – they are, like, next to the bench to a point where – I mean, I got to show you this picture. This is this is how close uh, I was. I've never seen anything like this. Um, I'll just put it here. Uh, like, that – was my view. That's oh, wow. the coach of what the Clippers the fuck? writing plans down. Like it was, we were there. Um, Holy. And everyone, like everyone around me, I'm super cautious. You have to be vaxxed before you go in there. And then there is like a place where you can go in between like at halftime where they, they have food and drink and stuff like that. And then just, just took off my mask in that room to, you know, to, to drink and eat a little something. I was like, well, that, this just nullified everything that I've just been doing. Like I've been oh, yeah. running the plan perfectly until this moment. Like, well, it can't get me in this small enclosed space where people are eating. That definitely is it. like, yeah, it, I, I was mad at myself realizing how stupid that was. Like, it's it's a moment. Well, it's like, get... what can you do? I don't know. Honestly, I feel <laughs> a little better now that I got it, to be honest. Yeah, like, you did, I it, did yeah, it. Like, <laughs> um, By the way... We are bringing you on the show uh, for a couple of reasons. Obviously, you've been you just did a big show last night at Largo out here in Los Angeles, which is an amazing venue. If you've not been to Largo, we do shows there and they are incredibly safe and, you know, as safe as you can possibly be, uh, making sure that everyone is good and tested. But we brought you on here to do a segment of, of the show that we have been having fun with, which is basically hot takes or uninformed opinions. We will show something that we feel like none of us have a, a good enough theory on and just see like what what we're thinking about something and so uh, i don't i don't know what these are either wit just so you know i, I don't know what this Paul is just has. a chance for us to to talk uninformed about a topic we don't well, know I love that. we don't Great. know what we're thinking we just it's off the cuff and uh so here and we, we go. should have we should should we have a strong opinion we should have like we're gonna we're gonna find our opinion because we don't even know okay. we're gonna look at it and see what okay, we think Great. uh so i pulled a couple things uh, here we were talking about people who steal focus and, uh, you know, playing a piano or playing a guitar in a public space. I saw this this week and I could not stop thinking about this. Uh, this is Grimes. This is Elon Musk's, Musk's ex-wife. And th- she was photographed walking around reading Karl Marx's <laughs> Communist Manifesto. But in such an insanely performative way. Like, who is – like, this to me blew my mind. <laughs> <laughs> See where her, like where where were these pictures? Like, that's on this on the set of Dune. It looks like to me. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this is a, this is a but it's so like it's so bizarre that she is. I mean, yeah, she is. She's come out of that uh, world that La Brea takes in apparently, and uh, and yeah, and she is. I mean, I feel like she wanted people to see her reading Karl Marx. Like yeah. I don't know oh, yeah. if you get caught. Like it's it, it's almost like a like a social influencer in the wild, but like she was paid for like paid for by <laughs> communism. Absolutely, yeah. I mean, and this is this is who, who is this person? This is Elon Musk's ex ex wife, uh, very recently okay. ex wife Grimes, 
who okay. uh, I don't know much about. They named their kid like X, Y, Z or X to, you know, it's like a, a math equation. Yeah. And yeah. she showed up at the Met Gala like as like a silver knight. Um, yeah. But yeah, this picture made me laugh. All right. So I don't even know that much about Grimes. Does anyone have any thoughts about yeah, Grimes? Yeah, Grimes, Grimes is a cool uh, musician okay. uh, who uh, has been always sort of part of the underground kind of uh, synth weirdo music scene. Married Elon Musk. Hey, man, I'd marry right. Elon if he asked because maybe I mean, when right. we get a divorce, that means I might get a Tesla and truck. <laughs> free space, free trips to outer space. You know. Yeah, that's... and it seems like uh, that's must. She must have gotten a free trip to outer space based on her <laughs> outfit. <laughs> all right, so all right, so that that is a little bit of Grimes. Uh, this is and she was else. not. To be clear, she was not pooping in that yard. Right? She's just. <laughs> Sitting down, she's not pooping. I couldn't Officer, tell from from the. <laughs> I have a Grimes in my front yard. Uh, <laughs> we'll be right like, there. Uh, like just like a loitering with a communist manifesto. And speaking of loitering, I'm, I'm really like setting this up like a talk show bit. Yeah, you really uh, are. Dog the bounty hunter is on the case to yes. find uh, Brian Landry, and I am very into <laughs> this. Ho ho yeah. He sent out. Did you, I, so I read that he had sent up uh, last Thursday. He would sent up an airplane with like a uh, like a I don't even know what you call it like a, a In, attached like a like infra, a infrared. Oh, he said no. He no no not even it. It was it was an airplane with like you know when they fly over the beach they have like a logo on it. It says like oh buy you know sun kiss soda or whatever it is right. Yeah they yeah like a uh, trails like a big sign behind it. Yeah like a, yeah. So he sent a plane up over this island to say. Aloha, Brian. <laughs> Duh, like dog, like like basically like threatening Brian on this island. Like I'm coming for you. So he didn't do anything. He didn't do any recon. He just <laughs> set up a a plane to like uh to threaten him. Wow, That's pretty great. And is 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 he getting? Uh, is there any status update? Like, is he getting close to the guy? Do we know? Is he the? I mean, it's a, like a worldwide manhunt for this guy, right? Yeah, Brian. The the first day that Dog came on the case, Dog in four days said that he had found Brian Landry and they were zooming in. They were getting ready. They were getting very close. And one of his pieces of evidence was a uh, a half uh, drank Monster Energy drink. And he's like, we oh, got yeah. him. We yeah. got him, and uh, there hasn't been. I haven't seen any recon like that. That was like the DNA on there was Brian yeah. Landry's, but it seems like he's in a very wrong part. It seems like everyone else is in different areas, and Dog is uh, committed to staying in Florida. I think near uh, near his home. I'm trying to find out right now uh, who he who Brian Landry is. To be honest, I'm. Oh, oh he, well, uh, this is great. Okay. Oh yeah, we got to bring you up to speed. He 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 basically. Uh, he definitely killed his girlfriend like this. Uh, I mean, he there he went on a trip with his girlfriend. This is like a month ago in yes. September. And, uh, you know, there, all these people saw this guy fighting with this young girl and like she was crying and he was like shoving her and pushing her and all this stuff. And like a lot of different people like saw them at different points along their trip. And then all of a sudden he went back. Weren't they in like, where were they, Paul? Like Montana so, or Wyoming? Yeah, or they were basically like a couple that were going to do like a social media like lifestyle called like van life. And they were presenting this amazing look together. But then there's like this police footage of them being called for domestic disturbance. And then they go into the mountains. Her family gets a few strange text messages that didn't seem in her voice. And then all of a sudden this guy, Brian, her uh, boyfriend uh, appears home without this girl that they've been documenting every part of it. And, and it's this crazy story where they have him, but no one's like asking, well, what, where's your girlfriend? It's like, it's this, this kind of like, well, no, they don't, he, they don't, they don't have him. Right. I mean, he, he disappeared. Like he, well, that's he went, like they have him because he came home. Oh right? yeah. They saw like they, people and his like, oh, parents, his here. parents have now lied about it. Also like they, at first they were like, we haven't seen him. And then they're like, okay, we saw him. And like, uh, then the they parents they are, went camping with him. Yeah. The parents what are like the? definitely in on it. Um, but anyway, the, the fact that dog, the bounty hunter is closing in on him is, is, but I think dog is in like the totally wrong spot. Like now, 
I think the guy's in some like big state park somewhere or like a national park. I think park. he's on the Appalachian Trail. They don't know exactly where he is, but there's like I feel like there's also like a million stories about where this guy is. Okay. My gut is that his parents still got a ton of money. He got on a plane. And he got out of the country. That's For my sure. Gut. For something like that. Um, um, but it's a crazy story. But now, like, but dog is on the case, and he came on super strong. But he seemingly is uh, the only people that will give him like airtime is Fox News now. Uh, yes. That is that is dog. Now, um, would you, uh, wit, would you ever date? dog the bounty hunter or marry dog the bounty hunter because if you guys broke up you could have some of that money i mean just by the same elon musk logic. some of that dog money yeah some um, of that sweet sweet dog the bounty hunter money i mean dude after a year or so no not not working at all i if <laughs> when you ask me if i'd marry dog the bounty hunter i say bark bark yeah 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 <laughs> you yeah. got i mean look look if dog the bounty hunter has enough disposable income to shoot up a plane just with a vague threat on it well, hey, island. I I actually looked this up a couple yeah. yesterday. How much it would cost to get a banner behind the plane? Yeah, how much does it it's, cost? It's five hundred bucks. Oh, that's it? We yeah, should do it. That's at not least bad. in my hometown, it's only five hundred bucks. Wow, we should do yeah. it. What about skywriting? I would like to do some skywriting. That, that is yeah. expensive. That's expensive, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. And if you time it wrong. It, it all goes too to windy. Shit. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah, you have to yeah. have the right person. You have the, whoever you're trying to do it for, because I feel like you have to do it. Like, and it also it's got to be short enough that people's attention don't doesn't like really wane from it. Like I think yeah. when I was a kid, that was something I would do. But now I just be like, oh, someone's skywriting, but I don't really. I'm not sticking yeah. around for the full thing. Kurt yeah. Braunholer did a funny thing. Uh, Kurt is a funny comedian here in L.A. If people don't know, and I think he hired one to write. Oh, yeah. uh, like hey how do you land this thing like and it was yeah. like all going down or something like yeah it was pretty and funny. elon musk tweeted it oh did uh, he really like wow. a year ago and i remember in the comments everybody was like you didn't make this <laughs> yeah, <laughs> this yeah, is yeah. not your bit oh yeah <laughs> molly is telling us that there was another one that uh <laughs> like recently is that joe rogan is literally five two. Oh yeah <laughs> <laughs> that was a good one. uh See, that's I what I would that. do if I had Dog the Bounty Hunter money. Yeah. By the way, just get do. the banner. I guess the banner might be expensive. To make the banner True. might be expensive. That yeah. That's where you're going to be spending a lot of that money. But getting yeah. it up there. Uh, the other one is this. And I don't know how I feel about this. But, uh, again, uh, you know, you know, let's see, Harold. This is uh, – this is – hold on one second. I'm going to pull it up. This is uh, – they – here we go. All right, there. They found the Zodiac Killer yesterday. Uh, they were able to piece it together – and this is him and this I is guess really this is the real zodiac killer this is the real zodiac killer everyone was able to kind of piece it all together they were able to decode all of his letters uh and because he his the way that he wrote his letters i'm going to be a little bit uh oh wait people say not confirmed no. i thought this was confirmed i think Let's it's see. not because i saw ruffalo tweeted something about this and you know he was in the movies Zodiac yeah. or whatever but uh i think they've oh. i think they've had these theories before where they think they had you know like i think with a right, lot of yeah, these okay. serial killers but uh but anyway so what, what so they thought that they think that this is the guy because because why because he they were able to okay billy jensen who we like uh billy jensen is a, a great <laughs> uh crime podcaster and uh author i wrote a book all about his uh he wrote a book all about his exploits in kind of this true crime world i'm going to read his tweet all right because yesterday they were saying we use this guy's name and we were able to decode again we don't know these are hot takes we're we're yeah. we're, we're half informed on this so this is uh okay uh billy jensen wrote here <laughs> um all right okay a note on this zodiac uh zodiac killer news in 2015 i was called upon by a team of producers for the history channel to pressure test a suspect in the D.B. Cooper case that a group of investigators had zeroed in on. They paired me with Tom Fuentes, a former associate director of the FBI. But I will say this, if there's DNA in Cherry's case, as there are for thousands of unsolved cases sitting in police storage lockers, and this news puts pressure on the PD to process and then use forensic geology to find her killer, then this could be a good thing. Oh, I guess I've just skipped to some tweets. I guess I didn't know. Mm -mm. I, I, uh, 
Okay, this sorry. is a real hot take. I mean, this is a piping hot take. Basically, what he's saying is we spent months going through the D.B. Cooper case as well as the suspect's background. We concluded there was no concrete proof that the suspect, Robert Rockstraw, was the man known as D.B. Cooper. The head of the investigators, a man by the name of Tom Colbert, was pretty upset, but there was just nothing there, just a lot of shadows and circumstantial evidence. The investigators couldn't even find or place Rockstraw in the area at the time of the hijacking. Uh, you can watch a show on D.B. Cooper case closed. It was a four-hour special that the producers thought would be solving one of the biggest unsolved crimes in history, and instead it was Fuentes and I saying, this ain't the guy. Yesterday news came out that a group of investigators had solved another huge unsolved crime, and what he's basically saying is, this is just a publicity stunt for another special. Uh, You know, and he said, uh, yeah, so he said basically, uh, he said the man who cracked, the recently cracked cipher, uh, in December, which was confirmed by FBI, FBI, told the San Francisco Chronicle yesterday that it seems unlikely that this guy's name is in there. So basically, that's not we, him. That's we got so, spoofed. We got to get spoofed. dog. We got to get dog the bounty hunter involved. We got dogs got to get on this guy. Yeah. Damn. Wit, wit. Do you think you could catch a serial killer if you really put some effort into it? You think you? Oh yeah. You, you could track I'll, one down. Oh yeah. <laughs> Easy. Just, uh, especially when I was a little kid, for sure. You should have seen me. Yeah. I, you were as a good looking boy. <laughs> I, I creeps were coming at me from every angle as a boy. I could have caught a serial killer if I just. By the way, that's what they need to do get young kids on the police force, get them in there, like lure them in. Uh, young, strong boys. My, uh, my, fa- my father in law, uh, is, uh, Uh, They live in Seattle, and he went to the University of Washington, and he was in an elevator with Ted Bundy um, uh, uh, because Ted Bundy went to law school there and before he went to Florida and killed all those people. But like, so my father-in-law was in an elevator alone with uh, Ted Bundy and, you know, could have could have killed him and, you know, been a hero, but he fucked it up. He fucked it up. He just he's a coward. He he was a coward. Yeah. So I can hold that over my father in law at Thanksgiving when I see him. Yeah. I thought you were going to say that your father wasn't killed by a father in law wasn't killed by Ted Bundy and kind of had like, oh, what? Why? Why didn't I make the cut? Oh, (laughs) yeah. What what, what, what about me? Wasn't good. Yeah. Why didn't he? Why didn't he kill my father in law? Yeah, that's interesting. (laughs) Like if you have that, like, ah, man, you know, like did it to everybody. I I, I don't know. Um, This is, I'm, I'm reserving the right to say just pass on this, but I think it's still interesting. Um, But here we go. I just saw this right before. Did you know that there is a hundred year old man, a Nazi war criminal that's on trial right now for crimes in, in the World War II? And this is how he sits on the stand. Oh, wow. He, cool sweater. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, he's very Cosby sweater. I just thought this was a crazy. I mean, he's a he's a yeah, hundred year old man. That's Bill Cosby, Paul. Are you <laughs> sure? Are you I, sure like, that's not Bill Cosby? It's such a crazy. I mean, this is a. I mean, ama- amazing. They they found this man. They are bringing him to justice. But yeah. it is. It feels like if you are accused of a crime, you you should maybe drop the the file folder in front of your face. Uh, I don't oh, know. I thought I he was like, reading. Him. He's just trying to cover his face. <laughs> that, yeah, that's that is so he so he so people don't know, but I do like the fact that he is a hundred and thinking like this will wreck my reputation. You know, <laughs> like this might this might not be yeah. like 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 this, I won't be able to go out anymore. Like I, I, this is a, how am I supposed to meet people on <laughs> Tinder and no one's gonna swipe on me? I'm gonna if, get kicked off a of riot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, oh, that, it really does not help his case much either. Like, if you're innocent, you don't do that, right? No. Just blocking your face. Yeah, yeah. I like that, like, it, I just want to know, like, what age it is where you stop buying new clothes. And also that, that, that guy's a Nazi war criminal, but still in, like, 1986, he was like, I need to get the coolest sweater. <laughs> it is, it is, and I will say this more colorful than a person that is a Nazi yeah. war criminal. Like, yeah, it really does feel like he's like, I want some pops of color. Like if his house is <laughs> very much like a Pee Wee Herman style. Well, he, yeah. yeah, that was his strategy. He's definitely like, well, I am on trial for being a Nazi war criminal. <laughs> Why don't I try to brighten up my wardrobe and throw him off the scent a little bit? And also mm. ca- too casual. 
very yeah. casual yeah. when yeah. you're on trial for being a, a Nazi war criminal to be like, I'll just, I'm not going to wear the jacket. I'll put the sweater <laughs> on. I, yeah. I you yeah. know, again, <laughs> yeah. uh, but, uh, but yeah, so that's a little bit of some hot takes of things that we don't know very, much about. Very hot takes. I didn't know any of that stuff. Uh, I hope I the dog, it. I hope the dog, the bounty hunter comes through. That would be pretty cool. I, I yeah. Mean, we all want him to be kind of redeemed, get back on top. Yeah. <laughs> Wit, before you go, are you going to play a little riff on the guitar? I mean, now that we talked about it, if you, you don't want, have um, to. I mean, yeah, you don't I have mean, to be able to put you on the spot. Could you hear it? Um, I'm happy to play You probably hear it if it's acoustic or whatever, yeah. I'll play a funny little song. Yeah, yeah. Oh but God. I also yeah. had a, before I play a song, yeah. I, I wanted to, and this is about a commercial that you were in, Rob, so. If oh, you, this if, is okay. great. If you're not. We've been if, really, we've been if, serving if, Rob up today. Yeah. Well, uh, years ago, 15 yeah. years ago, I went to a show at UCB and you played it. Yeah. And I talk about it. I, I, don't, I quote it all the time. And I say, <laughs> it's a McDonald's commercial. And you go, we're just two guys eating fries or something like that. Oh, my God. That <laughs> was, that was um, the very first commercial I ever got, ever. Whoa. Like that, It really was. That's and so you, crazy that you, you saw that or you remembered that. I remember that, and, and I, I I say every time I eat uh, fries with my friend, I always go, "We're just two guys eating fries." Isn't that what you say? In it? Oh yeah. Oh well, God. I I I improvised that line, and I I <laughs> vaguely, it literally is, I mean, more than fifteen years ago. That has to be like, um, I don't know when I was, yeah, probably like twenty years ago. But um, yeah, it was the first job I ever got um, doing commercials. And I was so psyched because um, I they made me eat so many French fries, and it was like me and some kid. And uh, I the, at one point they just like let me talk and let me talk and let me talk, and I improvised that line about like you know it's something about at the end of the day we're just two guys eating fries, you know like <laughs> I get to I get to hang out with my son and you know we're just two guys eating fries or something like that. Well, when and then you, uh, they cut amazing. out the part where I said. Um, you know, if he doesn't eat all the fries on his plate, I lock him in the trunk of my car. You know, they, I kept going with the improv and they, did, they didn't like that. Uh, I love wait, it. We got to, you know what, just because, and I know we're re-showing something, but I think just because you you might love this. Oh, no. We found this commercial, not Ro not a Rob commercial. Oh, wow. uh, I'm going to see if I can find it right now. We found a McDonald's commercial that is really sincere. Um, let me see here. I'm going to see if I can find it. Uh um typing it in this is a mcdonald's commercial that is about a father and a daughter uh that i think will blow your mind okay so oh no on. i think I, oh yeah did we here we go all right all right here we go uh it's not rob it's not rob in this yeah, one. yeah 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 all right yeah. so here we go all right um hi dad hi mr martin hi how was the dance great all the cute guys are going to mcdonald's can we go dad sure Wow, that's that's, hard. That's, that's, <laughs> that's a tough one, right? That's oh, a, it gets me. It gets one. me. Oh. Yeah, uh, the, so the music go, going for it. <laughs> I, I would love you to do that as a cover uh, one time. <laughs> the McDonald's Daddy and Fry Girl. When um, did she start noticing, <laughs> boys? <laughs> Oh, he's, he's kicked out of the McDonald's. Rob, I know you have to go. Whitmer, you don't. You don't have to play a song yeah, if you, you don't, don't want to play a to song. Play a We're song. putting him on the spot. Yeah. I can play a song that's two minutes long. All right. Okay, great. I'm down. Yeah, that'd be amazing. Okay, be right back. All right, we'll give you. Uh, we'll give him a nice full frame. That commercial gets me. It's still, even though it's funny, I get sad. I get sad yeah, about it. It is. It is. I mean, that's what's gonna happen to you, Rob. I know. Your girl is gonna be. And she's not gonna let me go into McDonald's. Yeah. She's gonna be eating her Impossible Burgers and just kicking yeah. you out. Yeah. All right. Here we okay, go. Here right. we go. Just uh, can you guys hear this? Yeah. yeah. And then ba 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 ba. It doesn't do. It sounds okay. 
I don't care. It doesn't great. sound yeah. great. Okay, this is just a true story about the first time I did more than um, kiss a girl. Okay. When I was a teen, I took my girl to the beach. We kissed under a blanket as the sun went down. And she sucked on my neck. And I touched her breast Then her hand crawled up My billabong board shorts Or maybe they were Vulcan This is the best night of my life I said as she tickled my inner thigh I said, you're why I, 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 I She said, I haven't even started yet She started to graze my shaft and balls and taint and I immediately came <laughs> I looked her in her pretty eyes and profusely apologized she said for what why I, I at that moment I realized that I could see both of her hands I lifted up the blanket and out ran the tiniest little sand crab a crab covered in my comb crab covered in comb crab covered in my comb crab covered in comb Grab covered in my comb, grab covered and comb, grab covered in my comb, in my billabong board shorts. A uh, crab covered in my comb. Oh, wow. I mean, this, what a way to end the show. <laughs> wow. Whitmer, amazing. We are popping up in the chat where people can follow you and find you and see where you're doing your things. People are clapping for you virtually there. Hey, uh, thanks, y'all. So thanks, fucking Twitchers. funny. So great to see that you. That was awesome, dude. Good to hey, see thanks, you, buddy. Man. Good to see yeah. you. Thanks for having me. Yeah, yeah buddy. We'll blast. see you later. See okay, man. Right. See you soon. Bye. See you later. Molly, uh, do we raid anybody? Because we're going to get everybody out of here. I'm waiting for Molly to see if she says anything. If she doesn't, we're done. I wonder, people. If, Thank I wonder, you. If, I wonder if that's a true story. I, I, I you know... You never know. I, I mean, I wonder if there really was a crab covered in cum. I mean, you know, uh, you know what? People said we should raid Amaranth because we have been uh, sending so much to her. I, I'm okay with that. Uh, oh, Private Street's <laughs> on. Oh, sorry. Private Street Comedy's on. We like yeah, that. Let's, let's um, Whitmer, so funny. Alan McLeod, so funny. Uh, what a great show. What a fun time. Yeah, and if you have, uh, if anyone out there writes some Squid Game erotic fan fiction, Put up uh, in the Discord. Hit, we will get put it, it in the Discord or put your name in the Discord and uh, we'll track you down and bring you on the show. So good. All right. See you, everybody. Get on Discord. See you later. Bye bye. We're rating it right now. Bye. See you later. Bye.